It is 12, 14 p.m. in Trenton, Pennsylvania. I'm under the Trenton Bridge. Um, heard 668, did not hear Colfax. Things snuck up on us. Uh, I'm sorry, Hunter. I didn't tell him that it's here. He's trying to get over here right now. I really hope he stops short. I uh, thought I was seeing boxcars, so I think 38G. Safe to assume here, 38. Jolene didn't say anything about this. Yeah. Okay. No, 1072, maybe a dash nine second. Nope, 40 DC. time in the world to tell him and I didn't. And by that I mean like 15 seconds. Didn't even hear the horn in Creighton. Why must the K5HL be so quiet? It's like every bell except for the two is facing backwards. I get the idea behind it, it's just an eerie enough noise to make people think train, but still. It would be nice if it was a forward facing, I would have heard that thing a mile out, I would have heard it at Colfax. Seventy-two hasn't been seen in about like 22 hours now. I'm thinking if it's anywhere, it's probably gonna be a uh, deep U on this thing. Whether it's mid train or what, I don't know. Rear train mid. I don't know. Oh, white tanker. Wonder what that holds. Keep an eye and an ear out for DPU, but uh, I think it's been long enough to say it's going to be a uh, rear train. And yeah, it's safe to say a 38G with the high top. Bayline stuff, and I think a southern, or no, just some damaged uh, Bayliner. Yeah. Yep. I think I heard 56.4's first uh, take. Maybe it'll repeat. Yeah, single rear train looks like uh, C6M. Nah. I really hope Hunter got it somewhere good. We were talking about, we heard a defect detector go off uh, a little while ago. Me and him were talking about what it could have been. And uh, 
he, Hunter says it could have been 75 6 if I haven't heard Colfax by now. I'm like, oh crap, he's right. And then, as he says that, I hear this, and I'm like, oh god. Well, that's 38G. That's that. 